Awesome! Okay. So, for those that were here yesterday, for those who weren't here yesterday even, this is Mass Effect Andromeda. So far, we have come on one of four big colony ships to the Andromeda system. Uh, we ran into some dark matter energy that was like floating around in space and it locked our ship in place. Uh, and the planet we were supposed to go to had like this crazy huge storm on it. So with the colony ship stuck and the planet we were supposed to live on with this giant storm, we took two ships down to the surface to see what was going on. What we found was a bunch of alien ruins and then a second group of aliens that are wearing this crazy bone armor that were investigating the ruins. Um, in the ruins was this giant tower that had this old technology in it that was like sending up this pulse that was causing the planet to have all sorts of weather issues. So what we did was we fought the aliens that have the bone armor all the way to this big spire. Our dad actually used the, the ship's AI to interact with the spire and turn it off, which made the storms disappear and everything's great. However, when we activated the spire, it blew us all back because it like, when it activated, there was like this giant pulse. It knocked my character and my character's dad off a ledge and my character's face mask shattered. So dad took his off, put it on us and died so we could live. Yeah. So when, 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 what happened then was we almost died anyway. We went back to the ship and we were almost dead regardless. They had to like, and this is where it gets weird. They had to plug our character into the ship's computer to like heal back up. So now the ship's AI is part of us. And we don't really know what's going on with that yet. They've only kind of like barely touched the surface of that. But we were going to die and the ship's AI, like the implant in our head, like spread out to save us. So that's kind of cool, but we don't really know what that means yet. Um, when our father died, he made us the new Pathfinder. We are the human Pathfinder. Every race has one Pathfinder. And it was our dad, and it was supposed to be the person under him, but dad specifically handed it to us. So now we are the new Pathfinder. Um, the only small bit, we're almost done here, by the way. The, uh, after that, the, um, the colony ship was freed from the storm, and we went and docked with this thing called the Nexus. The Nexus was a ship that was sent before the four colony ships with a skeleton crew only there to build it. And the, the Nexus is basically like a giant docking platform. So right before this scene, our colony ship docked with the Nexus. We came into the Nexus to, to meet the crew that's supposed to be here. And the crew here not only has all their own shit going on, they almost had a mutiny, but they didn't even think other colony ships were coming. So when we got there, they were like, whoa, you guys made it. You're not all dead. And that's where we are. <laughs> so now we're just about to go around and talk to the people on the ship and be like, hi, we're not dead. Why is all hell breaking loose? I'm your boss now, by the way. Um, that's, that's basically where we are. Uh, we've met three key people so far. A Salarian who's in charge of everything a Turian who is the security lead, and then a female Krogan, who I think we're actually going to go and talk to first, um, who manages, I think, the day-to-day, -day, but I'm not entirely sure about that. We'll go We'll go see right now. Is this guy still going to talk? Because this guy is hilarious. Hold on. Okay, cool. Oh, this guy has really funny dialogue. I think we missed it. He's like, hey there, little terminal. I'm going to fix you. You're a good little terminal. <laughs> Palme says, you're not the boss of me. Oh, rude. Container. Yoink. We'll take all of that. Data pad. We read that at the end of the stream yesterday. That was actually the last thing we did, I think. All right, Kesh. I know the Hyperion docking unannounced caused some switches to blow. That's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's mm. all. My crew's working on it. We've moved the op center to the top of our priority list. That's an... There mm. you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. 
There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. Where are the Krogan? I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Why do you call Tan eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. <laughs> Cheesy Giblets, Cuddly Scorpion, Perpetrator 9. Thank you all for the support. Really appreciate it, dudes. Zev Gaming, Nightwalk, Sinful by Nature, Wickwoods, The True X Death. Welcome to our community, buddy. Shikolo 14 Auto A, Bookum Dano, Hobo Chris, Snekin, Marcus Dion, Neox, a $100 tip. And all it says is, thanks, Co. The new cheer emotes are awesome. Thank you, whoever that was. That's massive. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Sigmund, good morning. What word in the dictionary is always spelled incorrectly? Incorrectly. Nice job, Sigmund. Another good one. Koala, release the demon, and Radrog, thank you all for your subs as well. Um, Turkey with Tan. Did the deal go that. through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made Wow, yeah, her lip syncing is like perfect. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. Why are you still here then? With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. Hmm. Okay. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Jean Garson, was killed. Whoa. What happened to Jean Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. Hmm. And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Salarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Salarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Salarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them either. The Salarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. So we hate I'm everyone that's equally. All in the past. <laughs> Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. Man, this is a this is a cool Krogan, dude. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Hmm. Co sounds more female than a dude. <laughs> What's your job? What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. All right, that's everything from her. Nothing more for now. 
see you later. That's right. Oh, it's a lady. It is. She's a cool lady too. Um, by the way, good time to mention this for anyone just tuning in. Um, please keep in mind this is a 100% run. We will be going to every location, probably exploring places multiple times, using my scanner everywhere, uh, exhausting every dialogue option, doing every single quest. So just keep in mind, if you're more interested in like the big cutscenes and the story and stuff like that, this probably isn't the best stream. Early warning. I do love you guys and I appreciate you watching, but just, I play a little bit differently than most streamers and I want to make sure you guys know that. All right, let's keep going. All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Not how he died. I pulled those logs. What happened with Pathfinder? I don't want to get into it. Things went wrong. And now I'm the one you have to deal with. Alec Ryder wouldn't accept that kind of ultimatum. Damned if I will. We'd never have left home if we... <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. I know, her eyes are like... She's got like, she's got like permanent angry, surprised face. <laughs> How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Her lip syncing is pretty good though. a adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or... I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated Ooh. that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director of our <laughs> colonies. <laughs> no one's a pathfinder until they've path found. <laughs> There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, That's the 14 first months heard. and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not that sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Ket. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder, not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. You've had no colony successes in over a year. How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. Hmm. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Well then. All right. That was, uh... That was pretty rude. Not gonna lie. That was pretty rude. Seems like a rude dude. Hey, 
Alright, I think we're ready to keep moving. Yes. Up. Oh. You realize everyone can hear you, right? Yes. And you just don't care. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's the way we're supposed to go. Let's see what's over here. Ooh. Look at all this stuff. Oh. Hello, I'm Jan Garson, founder oh, of the initiative. It's through your hard work. You, looker, founder, please select a topic. Yeah, I think we've already done all this, right? Oh, no, this is new stuff. You are employee writer, salary code 19B. Active Pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? <laughs> for initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For colonial affairs or outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For station maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nack Morkesh. For militia I'm supposed to be showing something right now? Deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. Oh. Okay. Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. Hmm. Viable planets capable of supporting life are key to our survival in Andromeda. The viability of a world is affected by several factors, including temperature, resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. Hmm. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda. Cool. Okay. Uh, this is just that... The, the Krogan chick's room, right? Yeah. Now, what's down here? I like the trees. Ooh, arms merchant. Oh my. What do we have here? Uh, how much money do we have? We have 100 credits? Ugh. A rare assault rifle? Ultra rare shotgun? Wait, 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 wait. Items have rarity now? Oh my. What's up, Geo Chef? Good to see you this morning, bud. Common melee weapon, 311 damage. Oh, sell all salvage. Oh! Confirm. Cool. Common sniper rifle. I think that's what we have, right? Do we have a Viper? Where's our gun? Oh, maybe it's because it's equipped. We don't have it here. Can I compare this? Show. Oh, compare. Ah, okay. So what is this comparing it to? Uh, hold on. Oh, wait, did they take my sniper rifle? No, it's right there. I do have a Viper. And it's equipped. Oh. So I have marked the Viper as the compare. So now if I go back here and compare... No, it's still not doing it. Oh, I can switch through my equipped weapons. Oh, cool. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. So there's not a lot here. I don't really want a shotgun. Do you have any armor or anything? Oh, I like how they're going back to the different, the different pieces. 
It's not just like armor anymore. It's like helmet, arms, chest, and legs. Awesome. Great, great, great. All right, let's go from here for now. Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. What's wrong with the prices? Ouch. Why am I paying for these? Half the supplies are inaccessible, what with how we crash landed and all. And I have to trade with the crooks out there for the rest. No, I think it was one and two was... Right? I think so. No, what's up? Uh, Jasper, there's only five kind of skill loadouts at the beginning, and I picked the one that has, uh, that has infiltration. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's do... Oh, wait, we already looked at that, so we're good. All right, let's keep moving. One had full armor sets, two and three had separate armor pieces. Okay, cool. Yeah. Security footage. Whoa. Kandros, as you're aware, there was a mutiny on board the Nexus during your absence. Events, events escalated quickly, but we believe it began with a firing, a fire in hydroponics and theft in the armory. Motivations for the uprising vary. Mob mentality was certainly a factor. But the leaders, including your predecessor, former security director Sloan Kelly, it was a conscious betrayal. Hmm. I need my people focused on defending the station, not taking inventory. If you really need militia oversight, I'll get Sergeant Nels to look at it. That said, it was my understanding the Exiles were more Calix's people than Sloan's. Isn't he the one who started the mutiny? Calix Corvanus may have started it, but Sloan made her allegiances clear. Calix and Sloan. Okay, those are going to be like our bad guys. Sloan Kelly's not who I thought she was. There won't be a problem. Good, then you won't object to sending a small and discreet reconnaissance team to find out where Sloan and the Exiles might have gone. Trails cold. Found what looks like abandoned camps in the Pfeiffer system, but none with living inhabitants, only graveyards. The conspirator Irida was among the dead, but not Sloan Kelly. Drama! She gets a moon, what's up, buddy? Hey, Trash Hunter One, how you doing? Oh. Bada bo Ooh! We can get different melee weapons. Oh, that's cool. Ours does 275. This one does 400. Ultra rare melee weapon? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't use it. Oh. Bummer. But I can deconstruct it? Hmm. 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 Let's talk to this dude. You must be the Pathfinder. Oh, you can equip it in loadouts? You and your Sam are oh, exactly cool. What we need. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. What fields do you study? Herrick's in the life sciences. I do planetary geology, oceanography. Rocks and runoff. Our Adonis is space and math ways. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Hmm. What's up, girl? You wanna talk? There we go. Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. What's up? Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. Uh oh I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. 
Your work is important. Don't lose sight of that. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. Alright, uh, let's see if we can talk to you. Nope. You. Hi, Pathfinder. Wanna hit some rocks for science? Try and stop me. Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? It sounds great. Streamline interface with Omni tool, tune voice recognition to rec recognize both aluminum and aluminium. Uh, haptic interface no longer defaults to transparent. Okay. What? I just activated? So wait, what do I do for that one? Uh, oh lord, what do these icons mean? Alright, there we go. Oh, scan minerals. Cool. Okay, great. Alright, so we talked to everyone here. I think we're good to go. Uh, Zerathiel with the 30 months! Good to see ya, girl! Hope you've been well, Zerathiel. Snake Eyes, Demon Knighted, Coot, K Coot, Elati, Corino, Ice Rift, Ninth Odin, Stateless Gem, and Milk, and Conaflex with the 17 months, dude. Thank you so much, Conaflex. A ham sandwich walks into a bar and orders a beer. Bartender says, sorry, we don't serve food here. Nice. Good morning, Hellhound. How you doing, buddy? And again, thank you to all the subs, resubs, and supporters. Good show to you, yo, 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 yo. Thanks, guys. All right, so let's see. Okay, how does this loadout thing work? If I go into sniper rifles, I can... Yeah, I can't unequip or equip this. So we need to go... We need to find... Uh, loadouts? Um, armor, consumables, research, resources. Maybe maybe we have to do loadouts like at a when we're leaving into combat missions and stuff. Maybe that's what's going on. Okay, we'll we'll wait until we're leaving. Let's see if there's anything down here. Speak with distraught Turian. What's up, Liam? Pathfinder, no time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is it? Let's call it straight. I can believe it. The Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Kat are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. Hmm. There's apparently no viable planets in range. Exile may have been a sanitized death sentence. What a shit show. Pathfinder, we have to get this back on track or we don't survive. No pressure, right? As long as the Nexus is here, as long as we're here, we have a job to do. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. Ready and willing, Pathfinder. Hmm... There we go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, this is the distraught. That's a Turian? That's a weird looking Turian. It's not right. It's not fair. What's what? wrong? Oh my. You're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband... He's locked up and slated for exile, for a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. 
I'm sure the Jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. Hmm. Lieutenant, based on status report 16C, it seems we're no closer to gaining a foothold in any sector. Without decent recon and greater intel on the enemy, I'm starting to think our efforts are futile. The risk involved in continued loss of resources and lives makes it hard to justify. With morale this low, we need to scale down expectations again. Candros. 